Hello, everybody. Hello, YouTube. Hello, art history enthusiasts and visual culture aficionados. Uh, I'm back. It's me again, Miss M. And I just made a video yesterday. And I'm coming back with a new one today. One of the videos that I promised in my intro video that I would do. Uh, and that video is on... Well, you can see right here what it's a what it's gonna be about. It's gonna be the first video in my Hunter Biden series regarding specifically his, as you can see here, fall 2021 exhibition at the Georges Berger Gallery. Um, there's gonna be a lot of videos which I was trying to figure out what to say, how to explain this. There's going to be a lot of videos. There's 25 paintings, as you can see down here, right? <clears throat> I mentioned this a little bit in my intro video, uh, the first video on my channel. There's 25 paintings. Today, I'm just going to kick it off by doing an overview of the topic. And the topic is Hunter Biden's artwork at this exhibit. And, I, and I'm when I do my videos about each of the paintings individually. <clears throat> I'm going to concentrate on each painting individually. I'm not going to talk about the overall thing. I'm going to talk about the painting individually and maybe how it relates to whatever he's trying to do with this particular thing uh, at this gallery in the fall of 2021. The title of the exhibit is The Journey Home interesting uh and i'm gonna do the overview today just to give you kind of an idea of what's going on okay i'm not i'm i'm i don't even know <laughs> where to go with this because this is so weird i'm sure that there are other people who have done videos about this before me i'm late it is what day is it uh, february 4th today in the year 2022. This exhibit happened in the fall of 2021. I'm several months late. So what does that mean? That doesn't mean I'm late to, I'm, I'm late to covering the exhibit when it was happening or when it was brand new, but I'm not late to analyzing the paintings the way I plan on analyzing the paintings individually in each video. This video right now here that I'm doing, I don't know how long it's going to be. I hope it's not too long, like crazy long, because I'm sure that most people don't have an attention span that long, even even very patient people. But <clears throat> like I said, I'm going to do an overview. And just so I can, me, the reviewer the analyst the whatever i whatever role i'm playing with regard to these videos that i'm doing about this guy's art <sighs> i want to see what's going on i'm not doing this well let me take that back yeah i'm doing this video so that people can watch it obviously they're you know it's on youtube um but i'm doing it for myself too I'm trying to figure it out, and my way of figuring things out is to talk them through. You might be wondering, okay, like, who is this person? Who is this Miss M person who's got this little YouTube thing going on, this objects of art thing going on? Like, who is she? Who is she to comment on this stuff? Who is she to pretend like she knows? Well, I'm not a super duper expert. I'm no Donald Cuspit. We'll talk about him in a minute. Um, I'm just I'm just an ordinary person. Yes, I do have an art background. I won't go into detail, but I do. I also have a political science background, which is <laughs> interesting, but that's not I'm not going to use that here. Uh, but <laughs> I definitely do have an art background, and it wouldn't even matter if I didn't. I could just be a regular person who's interested in art and interested in this story, which is, you know, it's intriguing. It's an intriguing story. This whole, this guy, ooh. 
oh my they the the internet and the media and the whatever has been a buzz about him for quite some time for you know when was the election twenty <laughs> twenty yeah at least since then right at least since twenty twenty they've been talking about this dude and they're still talking about him he's still an intriguing figure an intriguing character and that's one of the things that makes his art whatever it might mean one of the things that makes it so interesting so <clears throat> before i get started with everything else now as you can see up here at the very top of the screen i'm doing a, a screen grab or a screen capture video look at all my tabs all right i've got all these tabs some of them are just i don't want to call them fluff but i i put them there to not so much discuss anything but to maybe possibly demonstrate something so uh, let me get let me get through these first because they're bothersome um oh i hate these ads but look at this okay look at it this is one of the articles that i i googled hunter Biden and i'm sorry hunter biden and his art and like a lot I mean, a lot of articles and, li and links came up, and I've just put a couple up here, okay? I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. And I said, okay, that's enough. I could have put, oh, ever so many. And I think I might do an accompanying blog post on my, on my blog, which is linked um, in the description and in the about for my, pay for my channel. I might do an accompanying blog post where I list all of the many, 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 many articles I found when I googled this. Because there's a lot. There's a lot. And it was mind-boggling, at least to me. This is from CNN. CNN? What is this? Politics? Okay. <clears throat> CNN. All right. This dude, I don't, I don't know who he is, never heard of him, but he's an editor at large. And this article is from last year, July, tw July 17th, 2021. Is Hunter Biden's art any good? That is the title. Okay, you can read this on your own in your own time, especially once I get my blog post together with all these links. You can go there, click through everything, look at everything if you want to look at it. But is it i get this is an important question is hunter biden's art any good <sighs> why is this person asking this question hmm what, what's what's he trying to do this person this guy apparently that's important okay whatever moving on here's another article why obama's former ethics czar is highly critical of hunter biden's lucrative art sales there have been many bad faith scandals linked to the president's son. Walter Schaub thinks this one should be taken seriously. August 3rd, 2021, from Vox. Hmm. I've never really paid much attention to this website or their articles, but here it is. They're concerned about the lucrative art sales. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. This. Where is it? Washington Post. Okay. What's the date? July 8th, 2021. Okay. So as you can see, I'm quite late. Quite late. The title of the article, Deal of the Art, White House Grapples with Ethics of Hunter Biden's Pricey Paintings. The People. Like I said, I've only got seven articles up here. Of all the articles I found when I googled this topic. This is just a small sample that I'm showing you here. And <clears throat> what it seemed to me, a large majority of these articles were really concerned about the price of these paintings. And whether or not it's ethical for Hunter to sell his paintings. <laughs> okay. And not just sell his paintings, but who? Who? Who he's going to sell his paintings to? Or the, the person representing him, the gallery representing him. And whether or not it's okay for Hunter or 
the White House or his father, Joe Biden, to know who the customers, who the clients, the buyers of the paintings are. This is the running theme for a large majority of the articles that I found. And I, I don't know why, but that just kind of, I, I, I don't know what to, how to characterize it. That just kind of struck me, you know, I have a weird way of looking at things. So yeah, bear with me. Uh, let's see here. Fox News. Fox News. Mm hmm. Okay, them. Uh, <laughs> Hunter Biden's art massively overpriced. Experts say. Who are these experts? Let me let me keep going. Hunter Biden's art massively overpriced. Experts say. What is being sold is the Biden name. Biden's dealer may be bluffing and talking up prices, according to critic Ben Davis. Who is Ben Davis? I never heard of him. I, I mean, you know, I, I, yes, I do have an art background, but I'm not the kind that just keeps up on all the magazines and everything. No, that's not what I do. But, you know, some people do that. I don't. Who is Ben Davis? Let me find him. Let me just look at this quickly. Like, skim. Davis, Davis, Davis. Davis agrees that the astronomical prices for the younger Biden's art come from his last name. Okay, but who is Ben Davis? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm looking. I'm looking. <clears throat> art critics. Three art critics and one art professor. I guess that makes them experts. Jeffrey Young, Ben, ben Davis, and Tabish Khan, and Jeffrey, I'm sorry, Jeffrey Young, Ben Davis, Tabish Khan, and John Plouffe, respectively, told Politico that the prices for Hunter's artwork are nowhere close to where they should be for a budding artist. Ugh. Th this sentence here, people, y'all, there's a big problem with it. I don't know if you could figure it out. Maybe some of you are, are much keener than, than I would, you know, on art matters and art uh, pricing and exhibitions and auction sales and the rest of it. Maybe you know a lot more or maybe you're just intuitive, intuitively, you can see stuff. <laughs> I hope you see something here. Hmm? Three critics and one art professor. Since when do art critics have any input or say with regard to art prices and whether or not any artist's work deserves? Because they're, ta they're, they're basically talking about whether or not Hunter deserves to charge the prices or his dealer, his uh, representative, his agent, George Berger, whoever it is, whether it's okay acceptable for those prices to be charged. Look at this, Hunter Biden's artwork, the prices for which ranged between 75000 and 500000 are highly overpriced and indicate that buyers will be paying for the Biden last name rather than the art itself, experts say. Okay, so can we say the same thing about Picasso? Hmm? Andy Warhol? Hmm? I, I could, I could, I'm, I'm too lazy now, but I could think of a lot more names, a lot of artists that have gotten this same criticism when they were starting out or when they were younger or when they themselves were budding artists and their art later, that same art that was heavily criticized when they were just starting out, whether it's a Picasso or a Warhol or a Dali or any surrealist or any abstract expressionist or any Dada artist or you know, at the time when it was new, people were saying, oh, this is trash. Who would, who, I would never, this is trash. And, you know, 50 years later, however much, however many years later, oh, it's a, it's a masterpiece. It's pr not, not, you know, it's worth a lot of money. No, it's priceless. Am I saying that Hunter Biden is in the same level or the same category as a Picasso, Dali, uh, Marcel Duchamp, Andy Warhol, whoever? No, I'm not saying that, but do I really have to? 
<laughs> that's the question anyway let me let me keep it moving i got a more uh i got a couple more articles that i want to look at which this one is npr okay again same theme and i was looking for this this isn't what i was looking for but this is what i found hunter biden's paintings are going on sale what on sale Oh, this is in July before the fall. Okay, all right. Before the fall exhibit. Okay. Drawing critics. What? Who wrote this thing? Hunter Biden's paintings are going on sale. Drawing critics of art and ethics. Okay, all right. Now I get it. So a whole bunch of people have a whole bunch to say about this dude and his art. Are they really talking about his art, or are they talking about whether or not it should cost as much as it allegedly costs? Because you and me, us ordinary people, we don't know. Because if they're not publishing or publicizing who bought it, you know they're not... Uh, well, let me, let me rewind for a second. It, they're not publishing or publicizing who the buyers are so how can we trust the numbers that we're seeing we just have to take their word for it is what i'm basically driving at whether it's this publication or any of the others i just read through or however many more we have no choice but to take their word for it if they're lying how would we know that's why I use the word allegedly. That for that only read, even though it says here, I don't care what it says here. Can I trust it? I have no idea. I have no idea. This one, Outkick. I I don't even remember how I found this one, but I did. Leonardo da Biden. <laughs> Hunter selling his artwork for insane money from anonymous buyers. See, same theme over and over and over again. Won't even go through that one. This one, The Sun, a reputable publication. Yes. <laughs> 31st of January, 2021, right after his father was inaugurated, I think, what, 11 days after. Brush with the law, Hunter Biden planning art show with dealer who was, oh dear. <laughs> You're going to have to forgive me for laughing, but I find this amusing. So, even, I mean, these these are not right-leaning publications, except for the Fox News one. But CNN, Vox, NPR, these people, I think it's a gossip magazine or a tabloid, what have you. These are not right-leaning publications. These are not conservative. So, I'm not talking about the politics, because that's not what I'm here to do. But... <clears throat> Even people who you'd think, or people, organizations, entities, that you'd think would be in favor uh, and, and support these guys here, they seem awfully critical. And I'm wondering why. I'm just, I don't know why. I'm just noticing this stuff, observing it, and asking what I believe are the logical questions. What's going on? That's all I want to know. <laughs> What's going on? So this is the buzz around the art. It's and the buzz is chiefly consists of is the art good? And that that's only maybe what? Maybe ten, fifteen percent of the commentary is it good? Fifth, yeah. And all the rest of it, eighty five to ninety percent of the rest of the stuff, why does it cost so much? Who's buying it? Why don't we know? Why can't we know? The, the the dealer is, oh, look, I'll just highlight it. Look. Ooh. So. Mm. Very curious. Very curious. Now let me go back to, this is our base. This is base camp for <laughs> what I'm doing here, this video, and what I'm trying to achieve, which I don't even know what it is, with um, these videos that have to do with Hunter Biden and his art. <sighs> I'm not going to concentrate on how much it costs, because I don't care. I know I can't afford it. That's 
Yeah, I don't even have to think about that one. I can't afford these. 75,000? Yeah, no. My my last major purchase was a was a upholstery shampooer. Just used it today. Best money I ever spent. But I I can't <laughs> I can't afford these paintings, not even the cheap ones. So, but this is our base camp, okay? Um, and I'm going to click on this in a little while. First, I'm going to go through a couple of articles. These that the art, the sorry, the gallery itself is using these to uh, hype up the exhibit, and it's referring to these articles to say, "Hey, yeah, look at this. We got great write-ups." This one from the New York Times. It's behind a paywall, so I'm not even going to bother, and I'm sure as not sure as hell not going to pay for <laughs> to see something. But it's there. It's there. This is one of their links. Happens to be behind a paywall. Look at it. Oh no! So sorry. This is not the one. I couldn't get to the one that was behind a paywall, so I had to settle for this same publication, and this is from August. 2021 august 13th 2021 there's a new artist in town the name is biden hunter biden his name forever linked to president trump's impeachment says painting is literally keeping me sane after years of addiction and poor choices he does look happy just gotta say in this picture i guess this is him in his what studio which is interesting interesting i i don't know what to make of this photo but he he looks okay i guess um hmm. dressed in oxford boots jeans and a long sleeve t-shirt hmm. hunter biden ushered a reporter down a stone walkway into a pool pool house turned art studio in the hollywood hills it was filled with colorful works of decorative abstraction psychedelic florals and ethereal patterns that look like nature viewed through a microscope well isn't that something leaning toward the surreal there were nearly one hundred of them all by his own hand some were signed r h biden for robert hunter biden the fifty-year-old son of the former Vice President. See, I scrolled up to check the date. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. See, it was written originally in February 2020, updated in August 2020. When it said former Vice President, I said, what? <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, quote, what do you see? End quote. He asked, shifting bottles of ink and a bamboo walk brush. The more critical question might be, how does it look to the outside world? Hmm. I'm not going to go through this whole thing because I don't, you know, I don't, again, I don't want this video to be too, too, too long. But I'm scrolling through it. Oh, this picture. I might be referring back to this. So I'll leave this kind of parked right here um, for later. But let me go to the, so if, you know, you can see that this article exists. Once again, I'm going to try. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I'm going to try to list all of the articles I found. If you want links, if you want reading material, if you happen to be writing an essay or a book or whatever, and you need sources for your bibliography, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm on it. But just give me a little bit of time to do that uh, for my or on my blog. Anyway, I'll leave this right here. Like I said, I'll read the caption later. Okay, moving on. Vanity Fair. This is another one of the articles linked to the uh, website page from the Georges Berger Gallery, where, you know, they're using this to hype up the exhibit, and they're using this article as kind of uh, one to brag about, like, oh, wow, this is, yeah, this is, our artist is great. Hunter Biden is great. Vanity Fair, art imitating life. I just wanted people to see that not only was I okay, I was great. Hunter Biden is painting his truth. The president, oh, sorry. The president's son has lived his misfortunes and missteps in the public eye. Now he feels like he's come out the other side, spending his days listening to philosophy podcasts and mounting exhibits of the art to which he has devoted 
his new life. December 9th, 2021. I guess he's in his studio again. He's wearing the same shirt that he was wearing for the picture in the New York Times article. Hmm. I'm not saying it means anything. I'm just noting it. I'm going. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm not going to read through this. Maybe the caption. Hunter Biden, son of... President Joe Biden at his art studio in Los Angeles. And this photo was taken November 1st, 2019. Well, my goodness. I don't know if you realize why I'm sort of pausing and marveling at this date. But it is curious. It is, it is very, I believe, noteworthy. 2019, eh? Hmm. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> this is where Hunter Biden keeps the light up here, many minutes up the turns of a hill outside of Los Angeles, behind gates and pests. Oh, <laughs> okay, I'll keep reading that little bit. Behind gates and past Secret Service, through the white open house, he is renting with his wife and young son, away from everything and everyone. It's on the floor of the garage where he spends most hours of most days, hunched over the hundreds of paintings he's... Hundreds? Hundreds? Hundreds of paintings he's created, leaving his palms and fingernails and jeans and Chelsea boots and the silver bracelets up his wrists stained with blues and reds and yellows and greens. Hmm. Hmm. Secret Service, huh? Oh, wait a minute. Oh! They mention it. They mention it. Oh, I can't believe it. Yeah, I'll just highlight it for you. Whew. Oh, the, 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 the shade of it all. But <laughs> I'm not going to go into that. I'm not going to talk about the scandalous part. I'm trying to concentrate on the art. On the art. Not, not the scandal. But... Let's move on. So you can read this if you want to. Go to the Berger Gallery website. Go to Hunter's page. You'll find these links. Click on them. Enjoy them. Now this is Donald Cuspitz. Thing. I don't even know what to call this. Is it an essay? Is it a journal entry? I don't know what's going on here. But Donald Cuspitz. Let me just put it this way. I've taken some art history classes. His name came up. <laughs> His name came up. He's a somebody in the art world. Um, and at the bottom of this article, they tell you about him and why he's a somebody. I'm scrolling down. Uh, is one, oh, there he is. Look at him. Donald Cuspit is one of America's most distinguished art critics. They got one of America's most distinguished art critics to write this here about the hunter. Mm. I won't go through all of this, but apparently he's big news, this guy. He's a, he's a big deal. I've read some of his stuff. I have. I don't understand why he's a big deal. I, I, must, I might be missing something, but I read through this. I'm not going to do it all now because I don't have that kind of time. But I read through this and I said, what? To me, this article by Cuspit is very I, 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 no no I'm not I'm not gonna talk trash but mm, there's so many things that he could talk about that he doesn't and I wondered why why he didn't talk about them Donald Cuspit I said mm. you know and what also struck me when I looked at this, this is again, look, a uh, link from the Berger Gallery. This is, they're hyping Hunter's exhibit up using these links to these publications, these articles written about Hunter, his art. And, you know, these are the 25 paintings on the website. These are the 25 paintings included in this exhibit from fall 2021 at the Berger Gallery. And then I saw this. 
in this article by Cuspit that was written what, August 2021. And they're not a part of the exhibit. You can see, you know, compare and contrast this to the exhibit website. And I'm, I'm thinking, hmm? What? So I'm not going to review these paintings because they're not part of this year. I'm not going to do it. I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering what's going on, you know? But they do have, hmm. There's something going on here too, but mm -mm, no, not going to do it. Anyway, moving on. Uh, let's see. Wait a minute. I love these pop-up ads. Love them. They obscure my view of whatever it is I'm reading every single time on the internet. Golly. From lobbying to painting. Take a peek at Hunter Biden's new net worth earner. Hmm. Okay. This is from News Daily. And... I don't know why I clicked on this one. Again, well, just to sort of, um, well, look at this. Okay, now I found something. Biden for sale. Hunter Biden is represented by Soho art dealer Georges Berger. They're currently planning a solo exhibition of Biden's work this fall. Berger also represents another late-in-life painter, Sylvester Stallone. Well, isn't that something? I'm learning so much, like, in real time. I'm learning. As you listen to me here, you're listening to me. You're listening to the sound of me learning. There we go, Artnet. Now, I, I brought this one up because Artnet is like an industry giant as far as publications with regard to, that have to do with art, art auctions, prices, happenings, whatever. We spoke to Hunter Biden about his new life as a full-time artist and his personal quest for universal truth through painting. Hmm. Okay. That's one article from Artnet. There's another one. Uh, we got the first look inside Hunter Biden's hush, 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 hush. If they were trying to keep this hush, hush, they did a lousy job. We got the first look inside Hunter Biden's hush, hush gallery show. The least seen... Most talked about debut in the art world. All the prices he's worth right now, ten years from now, that's going to be a cheap Hunter Biden painting, George Berger said. Hmm. Okay, George. Jo George is just rubbing his hands together and dreaming of all the money that this is going to uh, generate in the future. Oh, I guess that's him. Okay. But, um... What? Well, isn't this an interesting passage? In reality, if it wasn't for Trump, you wouldn't even know who Hunter was, Berger said. Okay, he declined to speak about prices, but he gave these ballpark figures. Okay, all right. Huh. De Berger will keep confidential all information related to the artist. To oh, for goodness sake. Okay, listen. I, this, that, that, this is it for me. I'm, I'm, mm -mm. no. I can't. You, you've, I've spent a good amount of time saying basically the same thing over and over and over again. And why, 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 why have I been doing that? Because all these articles that I found have been saying the same thing over and over and over again. So it's not me. Don't blame me. Blame them. They're the reason this is so boring. Let me go back to, again, uh, base camp, right? On our expedition, the, our journey. Hello, the hero's journey. Or not the hero. Well, yeah, the hero's journey, but the journey home. That's the title of this exhibit by, I don't know who it's by. Is it Hunter or the gallery? I'm not 100% sure, but look it. These things. These things. And, like I said, let me go ahead and click on this. You, if you click on this link, it will open up a new window. Uh, this thing. Uh, you can see it right here. Ezel. E-A-Z-E-L. And this is your virtual walkthrough of the exhibit. Okay? And it gives you these little directions here. I, I don't really need them. And I apologize in advance. This is going to be a 
bumpy walk through this gallery. But let me go ahead and skip that. And it's loading. <laughs> Here we are. We start on the, I guess you enter the gallery and you're entering the top floor. You walk in and this is what you see. I would only, I, I, I can only imagine the rent, how much this space costs for Georges Berger to rent every month in the neighborhood where he's renting it. So anyway, you walk in and these paintings, they're organized in a certain way. Uh, what probably art people know or art history people know or museum people know is that art is organized it, it it has it has a certain plan to it okay you're supposed to see one thing first and the second thing second and the third thing third and that's part of whatever it is that you're supposed to be learning by walking through that gallery space or that museum or that church houses of worship temples churches stupas, Buddhist stupas, are organized that way. There's a beginning, there's a middle, and there's an end. Very similar to like narrative structure for um, stories. Okay. And Hunter, I think he's aware of that. And, you know, don't ask me how or why I'm assuming this. I just am. You walk in and to your left, and most people look in the Western world anyway, we read from left to right. So, Somebody walking in would probably turn their attention to the left and see this thing. I guess this is the first thing you're supposed to see. And then this. And then this. And then you start to let your eyes wander. And I'm again, I'm not going to go through these individually now because I have other videos to make. But this is it. This is kind of an interesting space, right? I'm just going to kind of dash through here. And this, I've looked at, obviously I've looked at this before, okay? This, th this is the part that I don't know what to make of it. If, you know, I tried to get into this little room through this program, oh, I guess we're getting in, and, and this is where it stops. Okay, this is where it stops. It's this tiny little dark room. It's got one light, a spotlight, as I'm highlighting here, that is focused on this painting, this kind of small painting of hunters above this black, it looks black anyway, maybe it's because there's a shadow on it, I don't know, but this black sofa, two-seater, love seat, also known as, and if you, if there, if you can get in through here, like if you were to really visit the gallery and in person physically, what else would be in this room? It doesn't look, it looks a little creepy. I gotta say, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. This painting here, I can't wait to analyze it in my other video f that I'm gonna do for this painting. Each, I'm gonna do a video for each painting individually, but, hmm, mm-hmm, in this room, no light other than the light focused on this painting above this very arbitrarily, it seems that way anyway, very arbitrarily, kind of just random looking black couch in this, it looks like a broom closet. I, I don't know. I don't know. And then there's this door that doesn't seem, oh. there's nowhere to sit. Have you noticed? Oh, this shiny floor, this gorgeous floor, but oh, shiny. There's nowhere to sit. Look, there's this bench, but mm, I, I assume on opening night they, they had at least some folding chairs, hey? Eh? <laughs> but anyway, let me get to what I really want to talk about. Okay, I'm going to go downstairs shortly. Shortly. Let me just go back to here. Turn back around. Yas. Okay, let's go. I hope, I hope this works because... Ooh, I have butter fingers. Okay, here we are. This is what I wanted. This is not a work. This is not a work of art. This is just some letters on the wall of this place, this gallery. 
The Journey Home, a Hunter Biden solo exhibition. I'll read this. I might as well. I've already, oh, it's 40 minutes. Why not? Furthermore, we have not, oh, let me start again. That was terrible. Furthermore, we have not even to risk the adventure alone, for the heroes of all time have gone before us. The labyrinth is fully known. We have only to follow the thread of the hero path, and where we had thought to find an abomination, we shall find a god. Where we had thought to slay another, we shall slay ourselves. Where we had thought to travel outward, we shall come to the center of our own existence. Where we had thought to be alone, we shall be with all the world. Joseph Campbell. That's beautiful. And where is it from? Like, where is this co quote from? Well, luckily, I did a little uh, pre-game research. This comes from Joseph Campbell's famous book, The Hero with a Thousand Faces. This is the Google Books page for it. And it's in the, I guess the, uh, is this a chapter? I'm not sure. Let me, let me check. Uh, the bo oh, I guess not. There's not chapterized here on the Google Books, but the monomyth. And I'll get into Joseph Campbell in a second. Um, here it is. Furthermore, we have not... Okay, yeah. We shall be with all the world. This is page 18, 18 of this book, at least this edition of the book. Yeah. Joseph Campbell is famous. He's no longer alive. He was very famous during his lifetime. He, I think, was Bill Moyers did that show... Um, several several parts show that they showed on reruns on PBS over and over again. Uh, the hero with a thousand faces. Campbell's theories have been applied by a wide variety of modern writers and artists. He's very popular. George Lucas. Huh? He gained recognition in Hollywood when George Lucas credited Campbell's work as influencing his Star Wars saga. Just to give you an idea of how influential this guy was. Uh, he died in 87, okay. Um, he was a professor of literature at Sarah Lawrence College who worked in comparative mythology and comparative religion. Okay, so of course, I clicked on those. Opened this comparative mythology. What is it? It is the comparison of myths from different cultures in an attempt to identify shared themes and characteristics. Comparative mythology has served a variety of academic purposes. For example, scholars have used the relationships between different myths to trace the development of religions and cultures, to propose common origins for myths from different cultures, and to support various psychological theories. Okay. All right, let me go one step further. Comparative religion is the branch of the study of religions concerned with the systemic, oh no, 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 systematic comparison of the doctrines and practices, themes and impacts, including migration of the world's religions. In general, the comparative study of religion yields a deeper understanding of the fundamental philosophical concerns of religion, such as ethics, metaphysics, and the nature of and forms of salvation. It also considers and compares the origins and similarities shared between the various religions of the world. Okay. All right, I'm going to go back to the mythology one. Look at this. This here, on, on the right side. Look at them all. This is why I like Wikipedia. It just puts everything into a neat little organized thing for you. Look at all of the different mythologies. And I'm sure, yeah, I'll go ahead and say that. I'm sure there's probably more than this. Each of these is a link that you can use to study whatever religion, mythology you want. But let's, let's keep it moving. Metaphysics, what is that? is the branch of philosophy that studies the fundamental nature of reality, the first principles of being, identity, and change, space and time, causality, necessity, and possibility. 
It includes questions about the nature of consciousness and the relationship between mind and matter. Why am I doing this? Why am I reading this? Why am I bothering? Well, because Hunter did. That's why. Hunter is trying to tell us something. Basically. He's trying to tell us something. What is he trying to tell us? That's, that's why I'm making these videos. Because I'm trying to figure that out. Will I be successful? I don't know. I just don't know. But I'm trying. And he's using Joseph Campbell as kind of a guide, a mentor, um, I won't say it. Let me, let me keep it moving. Now, I want to finish our tour. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You've got to be really into this stuff to listen to my video for this long, but Thank you for, thank you for sticking through it. Oh, look at this. We're climbing down the stair. Oh, we're down. What? We just fell over this railing. Okay. Cool. Now I'm just going to go through this. I don't know what's going on here. You guys. I don't know what this is. Does this belong to the structure, the architectural structure or whatever of the gallery, this building, this uh, space? I don't know. Is this weight bearing? <laughs> I don't know. I wish I could find out, but the chances of that are slim to none. But I, I wanted you to take a look. Okay, moving on. Again, I'm just gonna, again, these mysterious doors. Oof, and whatever this is, oh good heavens, I, I don't know. And these are, these are, they're meant to be pulled out. They, they're probably like pull out walls for displaying um, even more artwork. Probably not, I don't know if it's Hunter's, but you know, whatever. Gonna, gonna just mosey through here real quick. Real quick. And I'm still very curious about that column. Here's another one. Look at it. But it's not even closely resembling this one. So I don't know. But what I'm driving at is, did they put his, this here just for this exhibit? And why? If that, if they did. <sighs> Look. Oh, there's another. There's two of them. Oh, oh. I have so many ideas. They might be, maybe, I'm just speculating here. They might be, they, they, Hunter and the guy who owns this gallery, they might be citing mythology with these columns, with these things. They might be citing Greek mythology or Egyptian mythology, <sighs> maybe a combination. And the fact that this is the downstairs, the basement part of the gallery, they might be letting you know that whatever you see down here can be related thematically to the underworld. The, uh, the underworld. And when I use that word, I specifically mean like the Mesopotamian concept of the underworld, which was called Kur, K-U-R, or Irkala, I-R-K-A-L-A, -A. because it's downstairs. There's no windows in this room. All of the light is artificial light here. <laughs> oh dear, are we surrounded by lies? <laughs> artificial light is uh, means that that somebody's lying to you. <laughs> so, you know. I wish I had more time, but I've already taken up too much of your time. But anyway, this is the creepy downstairs area that the, you know, when you get down from these stairs, we fell over the stair, the railing, we fell over the railing. But if you came down here properly, down these stairs, on either side of you would be one of these pillars. Hmm. 
Okay. See what I mean? Now, I could just be losing my mind. That is a possibility. I... And when I say that, I'm not being really serious, but I mean, when I say that, I mean I could be totally wrong about my... Gonna... Gosh. And yeah, this thing is hard to, like, it doesn't feel like you're really walking through, does it? Uh, <laughs> when you, you, it's very, mm, it's like riding like a dune buggy or something. You bounce around. But yeah, when you come down these stairs, there's this one. And then there's one just like it on the other side. Let me check if it's just like it. Wait a minute. Yeah, pretty much the same. I wish I could. Can I zoom in? No, I can't. Look at them. Look what they did. Ugh. Yeah, no. I'm sorry about that. So, if if somebody can get a good picture, please email it to me. <laughs> because uh, this is intriguing me. Is this pillar a part of like what? Ooh, what is this? What am I not supposed to see? Oh, for goodness sake. Ooh. Oh, Lord. See, I've, I, I've been through this a couple of times. This virtual walkthrough. Uh, and I've never seen this. This blur. What is it that we're not supposed to... And I mean, I can't think of any other reason for blurring it out than to effectively censor it. Like, what is this? It's at, let me, let me step back. Oh, let me see, let me turn around now, I'm intrigued. It just, that, oh, that was weird. That was weird, or maybe, oh, there it is again. This is, okay, let me, what in the world? Do you see what I see? Are these just old scratched up stairs, or are these markings of some kind that might resemble hieroglyphs or cuneiform writing? Or see, this is this is why it's dangerous for somebody like me to look at stuff like this, because I, ugh, and maybe it's just dirt, grime. Maybe they need my shampoo. Or oh no, where oh, okay, <laughs> they need my my shamp my cleaning equipment <laughs> to wipe they should have i mean they, they're inviting people in here who have lots of money and now they their stairs are dirty how 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 embarrassing for them anyway let me go i'm trying to get back upstairs and <gasps> mm, that's the thing about the underworld if you if you've looked at oh, gee, oh. Let me just say this. That's the thing about the underworld. Once you get in there, you, there's no coming out of there. Okay, if you look at the um, the story of... Okay, all right. We got... If you look at the story of Inanna from ancient Sumer in Mesopotamia, that, I mean, that's, that's how the underworld usually works for everybody. Once you get in there, there is no return. There's You're not coming back out of there. It is a place of finality. But... Okay, so <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I <laughs> this was fun. Um, I, I, I'm still judging them because of those dirty, possibly dirty stairs. But and there, there's a reason why I'm trying to focus on this. Uh, no, I don't want to go downstairs again. Golly, listen. Let me try again. I'm so sorry. Let's try this again, and let's try this again. Let's hope for the best. Okay. All right. No. Listen, let me just leave good enough alone. <laughs> I'm coming up on almost an hour on this video. I have bored you enough. Um, what, what, was, what was I saying? Yes. 
there will be more videos. I'm not going to edit these videos. I'm not going to try and make this uh, less boring. No. You're just going to have to deal with it. This is the first. This is the overview. I hope I did an okay job. I hope I sort of set the tone or the mood regarding Hunter Biden, regarding his art, regarding this exhibit that I'm specifically uh, and exclusively going to be focusing on for my videos, my subsequent videos, about about his work and what's going on with it. What is he? This is the question that I'm going to try to answer. What is he trying to do? Why is he making these paintings? And what is he trying to communicate? What is the message? That's what I, that's the mystery that I'm trying to solve. So you all, if you're, you know, if you're enjoying this, thank you. If you want to see more, stick around, stay tuned, subscribe to my channel. If you like it, if you like this video, you know, hit the like button. If you don't like it, let me know. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> let me know how it could have been better. Uh, let me know where I went wrong. I'm pretty sure I went wrong somewhere. Um, and other than that, I just want to thank you for watching and uh, bearing with me with uh, my technical difficulties. And again, I'm new at this. I am new at this. This is not. This is a. This is this is not an old hat thing for me. This is the brand new for making these videos in this manner. So until next time, and that's why why why. I, I stopped on this one. In the next video regarding Hunter Biden's artwork, like I said, I'm going to do 25 of them, one for each painting. I'm going to focus on this painting. This will be the first one. And it's in very interesting that it's positioned right above these, uh, right above this stairway. Uh, let me click on it. There it is. Bluebird and Coyote by Hunter Biden. This is going to be the focus of my next video uh, regarding this subject. So, with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and stop talking right now. I've, I've said way too much, and I probably haven't said much at all. Uh, until next time, art history enthusiasts and visual culture aficionados, thank you. And I will go ahead and bid you bye-bye. So, bye-bye, everybody.